I'm gonna chop this up and try my best to make it not extremely boring and excruciating to sit through, but we will, we will deal, so. Owning a business is a lot of work. It's so many sleepless nights, tireless work, it's putting in orders, craziness, but I want to show you guys how I can do it and how I made it easy for myself at 19 years old and how you can do it too if you want to. So, to start off with, I am not a very boring, I don't want to say boring, I don't know if that's the right word. I don't take myself too seriously. Like, I'm not the type of person that, like, is watching trends and stocks and, like, drop shipping. Like, that's just not me. It's never been me. I don't enjoy it. If you're someone who wants to, like, just drop ship crap from China and is isn't for you, let me explain why I know what I know about selling online and selling digitally and things like that. So, basically, let's go back to last year and... I want to say over the summer, I was like bored. I wasn't bored. It wasn't boredom. I just have this thing where I always have to have a project and I built an online store as my project just because I wanted to. And it was around the time of like the hype of Visco Girls were a thing. Save the, the turtles, straws, metal straws, shell bracelets, weird scrunchies. That was the end thing. So I built this Instagram account from scratch where it was like very artsy and girly and it's, they had beaches and seashells and at first I got no traction this was before the store was open it got no traction so I was like wait I'm doing something wrong but then I realized to grow on Instagram you have to pay for promo and so I did that and overnight I think I gained like 3,000 followers it was insane fast forward the no we were selling product we were selling well it was me it was just me nobody else was doing it, it was a drop shipping store I was selling a few products here and there, I could make like 200 a week or 300 a week and it was pretty easy to do but the thing is in order for me to keep getting sales I had to keep making content and for me making content about something I don't relate to is not fun like I had no idea what I knew like what would work technically but I just didn't like the idea of not making content I enjoyed. So I decided to drop the store, like delete everything, sell the domain name everything is off the internet so you'll never find it but I decided it would be a better idea for me to start all over again with something I genuinely enjoy and just do it because I want to for a year and then see where I'm at from there because like I have time I don't really need to be earning a full-time income at 19 years old. I decided to just start doing YouTube and what I'm doing now because I liked it I like talking to you guys I like meeting new people online. I liked the whole process of making stuff and then showing you guys and talking to the camera. Like, that's fun for me. But it didn't earn me any money, which I didn't care about because if I genuinely enjoyed it. So I was like, whatever, whatever, so what? Like, money's not even real anyway, just do it. So I did that and I've been doing this for almost a year now. The channel will be a year old in July, which is insane. And we've grown a lot. I'll take what I can get on YouTube in 2020. Like, people do not grow anymore on YouTube, which is insane. But let's head to where I'm at now. So the online Instagram store is dead. That's not a thing anymore. Still doing YouTube, which is fun. I I think I just hit 800, which is insane. Like, thank you guys so much. We're about to hit 1,000. And who knows? We can only go up from there. But we're about to hit a thousand, which means I'm about to be monetized and get like four cents a video. So I joined TikTok a few months ago and I have hit 10,000 already, which is insane because that, that app is insane. Like you can grow crazy fast. But I said that once I hit 10,000, I want to open a store and that's like what I have to do. I was terrified of it because when you make stuff you actually care about and you actually want to share, the prospect of someone like getting it and not liking it is like heart-wrenching to me but it's like one of those things where you just have to do it and take the leap or else you're gonna hit 300k and not even have a store open and be scrambling to put the stuff together so I was like might as well start now just give the people what they want you know so I'm gonna give the people a web store and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna give people a web store it just kind of sucks because I didn't even want to sell my stuff oh and by the way I'm gonna split this into two parts so this part will just be all the boring stuff like setting up the site picking products things like that and then in like a week or two we're gonna be doing the first order video to just show you guys me packaging everything and sending it off so you guys can see like the full behind the scenes of what really a lot of stores these days look like 
Okay, so last time you guys saw me, I was working on the boring stuff, and guess what, guys? The boring stuff is done. So that includes um, registration of an LLC. Finished that. Got that out of the way. It cost three hundred dollars in Tennessee. Like, who would have known? Isn't it like one fifty or like a hundred or less everywhere else? Let me know. But I got that done. I checked on the state senator's website, and apparently. You don't have to report an actual, like, license to sell until you reach over, like, 3,000 sales a month or a year or something like that. So, until then, we're good to go there. And I don't qualify for an EIN number, so we're also good to go there. So now we can get on to the fun stuff, which is picking what platform you want to sell on and how many units you can afford to do in your first month. Alright guys, so we're pretty much done for today, but let me explain where we're at. So we started with all the legal stuff, that's done, and registering as an LLC, all that fun stuff, um, licenses are done, and when we left off, I was getting my domain name, and I finally got it. It wasn't the one I wanted, but I think this one's better. So basically, I wanted belowaveragejoe.com. But that was taken by like a weird sketch comedy group in Ohio. Like I couldn't make that up, but it was. And they had it, so I couldn't take it. So then I was like, okay, maybe I can do belowaveragejoe.co without the M. But it's like, you don't want your website being that close to someone else's website because one, like one letter away might make it really hard for people to find you. And you know how people are. When they don't want to like look for you, they'll... Well, when they get tired of looking for you, because it's like a lot of brain power to have to search for that extra O or M or whatever. So it's like if your website's one letter away from someone else's, that's not good for traffic, especially when people want to find you. So I just decided to make it below average show dot art because it's like that's a whole other. It's just way more different and it'll make it harder to mess up in the event that you do mess it up. And if you do mess it up, you'll know. So I got the domain name and. So that will be it for today's video. What we're gonna do next week, not next week, in part two, whenever that comes out, is designing the website, showing you guys exactly how much I, we could potentially earn. And I've broken it down and it is a good amount for a small business. Like it's not like millions or anything like that, but it's a pretty decent, decent chunk of change if we play our cards right. So I'll show you guys those spreadsheets. Um, how much everything's gonna cost to run, operate the full nine yards, website design, packaging, and even fulfilling the first order, which I'm excited about. So stick around if you wanna see that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.